Hey Virgo, uh, this is Soul. And uh, Virgo, this is your uh, bi-weekly uh, messages uh, beginning February 26th and ending March 11th, 2018. The messages will also be for Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising. All right, Virgo, I hope all is well. Let's just jump right into your uh, messages here. Uh, the Ten of Wands popped out while I was shuffling in an upright position, so it's no particular placement here. It may be just a message for those who need to hear. Um, Ten of Wands, of course, always relates to uh, sometimes internal and external battles and struggles, but also to I pick up uh, the Ten of Wands because it's a um, physical card of movement and it represents Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. This could be um, for some carrying a heavy load or a burden or there's many things on your plate that you need to take care of in the next two week period of time. Ten of Wands says that you're going to have the energy to multitask and, and take care of everything that needs to be taken care of. If it's not internal battles and struggles dealing with some sort of, um, you know, friction uh, surrounding your energy or it could be um, family members or friends coming into play on the external side. Uh, whether or not it's exchanges with uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, or, or Sagittarius, male or female, doesn't really matter, okay? So whatever this Ten of Wands means for you, all right? It's a lot of um, what I generally and normally pick up is a lot of things on your plate, multitasking, having to take care of a great deal of things. But you may feel burdened or you may feel like it's a lot going on, but you will be able to uh, take care of it. For the others, though, uh, you have to deal with uh, feeling, you know, restricted or bound to a person, situation or event. This is the devil showing up, major arcana in the upright. Some of you need to address bad habits and situations or relationships. OK, Capricorn, part of your energy uh, represents the devil and that of um, Taurus as well, male or female. So some of you may be feeling like you're, uh, you know, restricted. Or, you know, you feel, you know, bound to a person, place, could be a job, uh, a family situation, okay? But this devil comes in. And also, too, keep in mind, the devil comes in to create uh, some sort of illusion for you, all right? That's that falsity that comes in with the devil. Uh, if it is, uh, a, you know, related to addictions, that smoking, drinking, um, gambling, sex, could be addiction to another person or, you know, could be a uh, friendship, romantic uh, partnership, could be some kind of addiction going on with a family member. Even though I'm reading for you, it could be that this is what you're dealing with. All right. Now, following the uh, devil card is the it's a relationship. The four of cups, this particular four of cups, unlike any other four of cups that I've, you know, use in terms of the decks that I use is, is it has two people here. OK, this is usually the card of social um, uh, outings and, and invitations and, you know, just having a good time emotionally and feeling content and satisfied. But these two people here don't look they're at opposite. Their backs are to each other. OK, um, he has his hands in his head and she's like looking down like something's wrong. So maybe they could apply uh, to some um, Virgos that I'm reading for and it's connected to the devil's energy, you know, feeling restricted could be bound to a, a romantic uh, partnership, could be something going on with um, children because the cups represent children for me and there's some sort of uh, restriction that they're placing on you. Whatever it means for you, Virgo, this is what I'm picking up because normally I pick up uh, emotional happiness, satisfaction, and contentment uh, with the Four of Cups. With this particular deck, I have to go by what I see and feel that there's some sort of disappointment or discontent uh, coming in. This might be just boredom uh, also, too, within a relationship or a friendship. So whatever, again, applies to you. Uh, but there is, uh, following this Four of Cups, ending of uh, some sort of conflict. Uh, the Five of Swords is showing up in the reverse. Okay, conflict and um there was some sort of action that was taken to possibly on your part to end some sort of conflict with another person in the upright in contrast this uh guy is, has this other guy in the headlock and whether or not it's the exchange of you know gemini libra aquarius male or female uh it doesn't really matter it's an ending of some sort of conflict surrounding your energy all right it might be the start of uh ending of conflict when it comes to the devil 
uh, dressing bad habits, uh, if they are true addictions or um, relationships. Knight of uh, Wands follows the five of the Knight of Wands have been showing up in all these damn readings here. So this is somebody that could be an actual person, but this person is the uh, Knight in Shining Armor. He comes along as someone to assist you or aid you, but their energy doesn't stick around. So whoever this uh, Knight comes in as, um, and it could be you know someone who just helps you for uh, a hot minute or there's a passing moment. Uh, when someone comes along and you're having difficulties in uh, some situation surrounding you, uh, I'm not going to tie it into a relationship because uh, normally the wand, since it's a physical card of movement, it represents Aries, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. The energy comes in quickly, okay, and then disperses just as quickly as it comes in. But because it's in the upright, whoever is going to come in within this next two week period of time is going to offer some sort of aid or assistance to you. Hopefully that's the situation. Following this uh, Knight of Wands is now the Seven of Wands. So again, we're dealing with friction. But because this particular deck here um, has the um, guy sitting at a desk and work, maybe the you know someone feels like they're bound or restricted to uh, a work situation. Okay, that could be the case. Uh, Seven of Wands normally comes in as you know, being attacked, personally attacked, or feeling defenseless. Uh, I don't want to say there's there's hope in the situation. I don't want to say the situation is hopeless. And maybe it's all just related to a work or a situation, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female comes into play. Whether or not it changes with those energies, it doesn't really matter. Maybe there's battles and struggles going on with a friendship of a fire sign or a relationship or a family member with a fire sign two of pentacles which is now your energy and that energy of taurus and uh, capricorn is in the upright so this two of pentacles here is uh about you know a juggling act could be you know a relationship uh trying to um you know juggle two things it could be a job relationship uh family situation your checkbook this person is in front of an ATM and maybe that, you know, the two of pentacles being so low that some of you are dealing with financial issues and there's not enough money to withdraw because um, he is really despondent at this ATM machine. Like, oh, my gosh, I've overdrawn or I don't have enough money to do whatever it is that I need to do. <clears throat> so that could be uh, for some of you. And also too, the two of pentacles underneath the four of cups when it comes to a relationship. So maybe there's someone who's having financial difficulties within a partnership relationship. And this is why the four of cups is the way it is. Backs are to each other. Someone's not a happy camper here. And it may be all due to related uh, financial or some kind of finances going on possibly all right next up is the queen of swords so there is at least you know some energy picking up for you being very determined and she's looking backwards at the uh two of pentacles so it may be you trying to clean up your finances okay uh this is a card of um not only being determined but taking action so it may be that you take action and are very determined to clear up and clean up whatever financial uh, suffering that you have done or trying to improve your finances. That could be the case. Then it's the ending of conflict, conflicting energies with possibly another person. Since the Queen of Swords uh, is underneath the um, Five of Swords and the Queen could represent male energies. Again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. She's looking backwards at the two of Pentacles. So that's the financial, excuse me, that's the financial uh, message that I'm picking up directly to clear up or clean up. It could be um, part of the uh, energy in terms of decision making that you've been juggling two jobs, part time job, a full time job, part time job, and then having to make a decision or make a decision to pick up a part time job to supplement your full time job because the money is lacking. Two of Pentacles, okay? Maybe this is what you're thinking about. Then you're going to take action. The Emperor, the final card comes in for you, and this is uh, in the upright position. So this is good. This is being in control and uh, maintaining order of yourself and things around you. 
Now, it may be some sort of conflicting energies with the devil as your overall energies and, and for the need for those who have to uh, address any, you know, addictions. But then you take control. You know, there's some sort of control or some sort of order that comes back. And this is not over other people. This is um, related to um, Aries and also could be related to Leo and Sagittarius, male or female. This is the card of authority. Uh, it's also coming across as part of a father figure uh, energy. This could be judges. This could be lawyers. This could be police officers. Uh, so maybe some of you have some um, or could be uh, working in the capacity of uh, the legal or justice uh, field. But I'm not really picking up anything negative related to this. This is just being in control. And then, of course, it's underneath the uh, Knight of Wands where, you know, like I said before, somebody could come along. Now, the person that comes and aids you and help you could be just as I mentioned. It could be a judge. It could be a lawyer. But it's something that happens very quick. It could be a police officer, you know. Um, so whatever or however the situation applies to you or that may apply to you, this is what I'm getting. All right. So, Virgo, this is what I have for you. I hope it's helpful and beneficial. Um, please look at your moon sign and your rising signs. Even though I said please, it's not mandatory. Uh, you can do what you want. Uh, but with that being said, this completes your reading. I hope that, you know, for the next two weeks that your <clears throat> your time uh, is full of uh, safety. Number one, emphasizing safety and uh, sending you quite a bit of light and love until I talk to you again. Virgo, please be well. Bye. <laughs>